Hey y'all, if you saw my last video, I was digging up some plants uh, to sell to a customer out of our blueberry field out here. And I had some that weren't, uh, didn't have a whole lot of roots on them. They, they just had a small group of roots. And uh, I just wanted to show you what I do with those. So um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in a pot and uh, grow them out in the spring. And then I'll sell them, you know, this spring or maybe even this summer. Or, if not, I may even put them back in my field, just depending on if I sell them or not, you know, so. Um, it's really easy to do, and they'll really do really well. So, what I have here is, uh, this pile here is a, just a pile of uh, pine bark that's been sitting here aging for a little while. And um, I'm just basically going to get this pot, I'm just basically going to get this pot full full of material uh oh we don't want them roots in there from some kind of tree what I'll do right there I think I'll get it half full I've got a small one over here now here's a small little small plant that I got out of the field and you can see it has some real fine roots down there around the base of it and it's not very big um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick this in here actually let me set this thing up on this camera real quick. All right, so I've got it halfway full, bucket halfway full. I think what I'll do is I'll take this little part off right here, this little knot in here. I'll just cut that off. Then I've got this other piece of it here. I'm gonna cut it off right here. And then I'm gonna take this thing actually and I'm gonna cut it off about right, right there. So that made it probably about 10 inches long. I'm going to stick it down in here, cover it with this old pine bark here, all the way to the top, because when I water it in, you know, a lot of that's going to settle down in there too. And I'll stick this over here in our little nursery, and uh, I'll put a little fertilizer on it on it in the spring and it'll really take off growing and make a nice plant. I've got some bigger ones too. Hold on real quick, I'll get one of them. Three gallon pot here. You can see this. This particular one here was about, heck, that thing's four foot long. I don't know if you can see it in there or not. It's about four foot long, but it's got a little bit of roots down here at the base of the main part of the cane that was growing up right there. Get my shovel. About halfway, maybe a little more. You take some out, I think. I think it's worth it in there, good. I don't want it falling over. What I'm going to do. Them are four foot canes on that thing. I don't know if you can see them, they're at least four foot. Uh oh. I'm gonna trim it off about right here. Add more bark. You can see here it's got plenty of bark in it now. And those things will grow fantastic in a pot. And if you wanted to, you could even put it in a, a bigger pot. This is a three gallon pot right here. Um, you could put it in a, a 20, 25 gallon pot. Um, I know a lot of people that uh, actually want to grow them at their house in just a pot and they never want to put them in the soil. And what I recommend they do is get like a, um, you know, those plastic barrels, 55 gallon barrel, and cut it in half, and then drill some holes down and around the bottom of it. And uh, shoot, you can grow that plant. I mean, you can make it eight or 10 foot tall in just those little, those little barrels like that. So that works for a lot of people that don't have a whole lot of space. Um, and maybe if you don't like a, a blue barrel, you can find any kind of pot. 
Um, I was just using that as an example, but once these things start to leaf out this spring, what I'll do is I'll put some slow release fertilizer on top of them. Um, there's a fertilizer called Osmocote, and um, I've got some that last, oh, it's four to six months, I think, something like that. And I'll sprinkle it along the tops of these plants right here. I'll just sprinkle a little teaspoon in there, and uh, also any of the small ones. And that'll, every time that it gets water, it'll help fertilize the plant. And the plant will just take off growing really well, and. Uh, more, hopefully we'll sell it to somebody else so but anyway it's pretty simple pretty simple to do and I uh, just thought I'd share that with you all right y'all I got them all potted up and I wanted to show you something just really quick uh, just a comparison of what they can look like uh, depending on what size pot you put them in so, so let me show you real quick okay this pot right here I'm gonna set it up next to that plant right there and you can see this is another one. I don't know. Let's see. The sun shines in the way. It's pretty comparable. I mean, pretty good size. I mean, this one's put on multiple canes. You can tell where I'd cut it off up here and right over here on this side. And, uh, you know, it's put these two extra canes on. And that thing is, shoot, it's three and a half, four foot tall. And this is what it began. It's just one of those little cuttings. Now, right over here, I've got some that are a whole lot bigger. I don't know if you can tell the size of this plant and that pot right there. It's a big pot. That's about a, I think it's about a 20, 25 gallon pot. And there's another one right over there. And I'm not sure if this camera's really going to show, but these are, these are real big. And they got, and that's, the only reason they're so much bigger is the difference of size pot that I put them in and initial, you know, initially when I planted them. They're the same age. I dug them up last year and uh no i dug them up this year in january and this is december and uh one of them i put in a three gallon pot the others i put in the 20 gallon pot and you can see a substantial difference in size uh, so if, if you wanted to just grow yours in a pot get you a 25 to 30 gallon container of some sort that's you know make sure it's going to be able to drain well and man, you can grow all the blueberries you want right there at your house. And you don't need a whole lot of space.